Right, so we are. We were talking about that because we're outside. <laughs> yes, we are sure that you're pretty familiar with the luxury auto brand Mercedes Benz. Um, but did you know that they have a sub brand called AMG? I didn't know this. And they are generally have higher trim levels and tons more power than their non AMG stablemates. It's a combination of power and luxury, which of course comes at a price. Let's find out if they hit the mark as we go behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs in the 2021 Mercedes AMG E53. Reviving an old British tradition, I'm Ian Lee with why sales of this Victorian classic are surging. Brilliant. Dismount. Feet away. Any farthing. Okay. Do we have the Mercedes? Not yet. Should we good. just talk to Harvey about the Mercedes? Because I know nothing about the Mercedes or the AMG. We're, we're going to go to a spot and figure this out. Okay. Oh, oh no. okay. we're going to okay. talk to Harvey. Here we go. Harvey, it's all on you now. No, you were, I was asking no, you. I think we're doing the package. Here's the Mercedes. Our first post-pandemic, mask-free, fully vaccinated That's car. right. We might as well do it in style. That's right. Let's do it with a Mercedes, and not just any Mercedes, but a Mercedes AMG. So this is, AMG is the high-performance tuning division for Mercedes-Benz, kind of like BMW has M and Lexus has F. So it's basically an E-Class Mercedes sedan with more aggressive suspension and transmission and more direct steering feel. The front end is unique for the AMG line. You have AMG-specific wheels and uh, taillights as well on this. It should be OMG. <laughs> it is OMG <laughs> when you put your foot in it. Uh, this is 400. 162 horsepower, Mark. Wow. Plus, this Mercedes has a 48-volt electric hybrid system, which gives it 21 extra horsepower. That gives you a little boost to help this 4,500-pound sedan get moving. But wait, there's more. They also have, for the turbocharger, an additional compressor that is electrically driven so that you don't have to wait for the turbocharger to spin up to get all that power. It seems like a lot of stuff to go wrong. Uh, it's, you know, <laughs> German cars typically are complex. It's time to find out what all those ponies can deliver. All right, we're all vaccinated. Mike included, the photographer. Let's go for a ride. Let's do it. The really interesting thing about this is when you get it out on a back road and you go kind of have a little fun with it, it feels much smaller and lighter than it is, and which is a real achievement. And it's fun to drive. Yeah, I, uh, you know, 462 horsepower, <laughs> so you're zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds. Um, you know, it does have a top speed that will get you thrown in jail if you so choose to do that. It's better to spend time in this Mercedes than the Huskow. Instead of steel bars, this is the lap of luxury and high tech. This new, uh, they call it M Bucks, Mercedes Benz user experience, and you have two 12.3 inch touchscreens. One screen's devoted to regular dashboard stuff, the other for navigation, infotainment, and HVAC. You've got this nice black ash wood, you've got leather dash with the hand stitching, uh, leather wrap steering wheel. Um, and of course, in this model, you have these really deeply bucketed sports seats that provide a great amount of uh, support when you're driving more spiritedly. Harvey's also impressed by the voice command system. It's very intuitive, and you can use natural language instead of a series of commands. Just go, hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Lower the temperature to 68 degrees. I'm setting the temperature to 68 degrees. Thank you. All of this technology, all of this luxury, all of this power and engineering comes, of course, at a price. The E-Class starts at about $54,000 for the E350. This one starts at 72, and the way we have it equipped is $82,000. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it is a <laughs> lot of money. Um, it's There are so many cars in that price range now, and I'm just curious as to 
Who's buying all these things? <laughs> Certainly not these two. Pull over. We can okay. Look at the... And Harvey is here down on the patio with us. Eighty-two thousand uh, dollars. You know, that's what a luxury performance sedan with that kind of performance costs. And if you want it. Whether you want a BMW, a Mercedes, or an Audi, that's what you're going to pay. Now, you were talking about during the break that I was asking if it, you know, if it has yeah. a pizza oven or something in there, but it doesn't. But you said it does have some really impressive stuff. Well, yeah, it's got, you know, all the performance that you want, right. but then you've got comfort features like uh, really the, the seats actually move and shift on you so you don't get stuck in one place yeah, the whole time you're driving. They just sort of move around to keep you awake. Right. Okay. And then it has an air purifier and an ionizer and a, a, a scent. So you can buy different scents to get Oh my gosh, like aromatherapy. Exactly. Wow. And, and red seat belts. And red seat belts. No Why extra would you charge. get a performance car without <laughs> red seat belts? <laughs> Read more at ridesanddrives.com. Harvey? Good to see you. Great to see Fully you guys. Fully vaccinated here in the backyard. Love it's, it. It's been a year and a half. Here we are. We're getting close. We're getting close. Right. We'll be right back.